person calls it. And cut zip with the tip. Cause zip was lying. Just like he's doing on here. Did y'all hear what he said? Yeah, they used to come up with a lot of stuff uh, recently. We've been knowing about the, uh, what was the guy's name? Zip, Zip. Zip with the drip stuff and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm yeah. saying, me and Zip, me and Zip went through a situation at Elmira. At the time, there was an individual over there with us named Champagne. The button on him, he wanted to go to IBC, but Zip knew about it before that. You know what I'm saying? So I took it kind of personal. Now, I wouldn't call about that same way I went about it now. I'm like, oh, I understand. He knew about the dude Champagne being crip. I was mad at Zip at the time about that, and I, I had a step forward that was kind of tarnished, and I wanted to scratch him, and, 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 and I'm not going to lie, I don't, because don't, that's not what I do, me and him wanted to shake it out, and he fought and all that, you know what I'm saying, he thought he was getting tall, but he still fighting, he, he, wasn't, he wasn't going for it, <laughs> he wasn't, he, he didn't jack that shit at all, <laughs> the police wound up, they didn't see what's going on, they see how he's trying they sent him back to his, to his, to his cell, and I seen the clip when he, when he said, you know, the police seen this and that, and it ain't happened like that, I never got it. You hear what that man said? I seen him on the clip when he said the police seen, police ain't seen nothing. Police didn't see nothing. Let's finish. That incident, right? We still have it over there. But I found out, and, and, and made him talk after the fact. I, I, I wanted to fight him again. He said him and Zip talked after the fact. And he wanted to fight him again. And what Zip did? He did that old Blue Boy move. He was at the heart that smoke. Blue Boy came in his cell with that knife. I don't care how much tough shit he sit up here and talk. Blue Boy came to that cell with that knife. I made a bit of this. Little Zip don't want that smoke. The brother came back to his cell after whooping his ass and cutting him. Lil Zip don't want that smoke. Where the tough guy at? See, that's why you gotta expose these suckers. Where the tough guy at? Where's the rich guy at? He just was applying for EBT, but you make $2 million a year. Where's the rich guy at? Where's the tough guy at? Once again, shout out to Ajahn. Shout out to We Locked In. Mikey B, Moshe, and KK. I'm bad for telling you. I'm going to call them. Because I know they don't want to do it. <laughs> I bet you this brother right here know everything. But I bet you any amount of money because of the change in his behavior and his thinking and his ways, he ain't gonna put a sip on blast like that. He just gave the story of what really happened. But at the same time, right, you heard what he just called him? He said, yeah, I seen Zipper. <laughs> they know he is crouching, dragging, hitting Zipper. He's hiding behind somebody's zip. He's hiding behind somebody's zipper to... Pause. Whoa. Wow. Come on, man. The brother said... After he did what he did to Zip, he went to his cell and packed him. You want some more smoke? I'm ready to finish you off. Zip said, I don't want that smoke. They locked on the same tier, gallery. That means the same floor. You live in apartment 1E, he live in apartment 1F. Y'all on the same floor. You ain't nowhere where he can't get to you. Zip talk all this gangster shit. Real gangsters. If it was the other way around and Zip was out and he was locked in the cell and Zip went there and said, you want more? Homie gonna be like, yeah. I see you when I come out. Locked out on the lockout. They came out and got busy. But Zip said, I don't want that smoke. So the brother felt, being that Zip started asking people for raises and guns to try to sneak attack him. Homie, sit the matter. Get him out of here. They ran him out the jail. No. All that, so all that tough talk he talk, y'all can go over there back to that channel with all that fake gangsterism. He got ran. Ain't no way in the world I'm going to be in the jail with 2,000 men. With 1,999 men, I'm the 2,000th man. And you going to run me? I'm not going nowhere, no. It's going to take all 1,999. And it ain't going to take no one or the little dudes you sit And I'm like, oh, shit. I think they're killing me. You know what the difference between me and them suckers, man? I wanted to die. They got to be up here capping. I'll be capping. I wanted them to kill me in there. So I'm not doing no 15 years to life. I'm not doing 15 to life. I need somebody to kill me. Fuck out of here. What? You got the things. I'm gonna burn on that bed. I'm gonna burn. Let it burn. Let him burn. I'm gonna burn this nigga bed off. Situation at Elmira. At the time, there was an individual over there with us named Champagne. The button on up. He wanted to go to IBC, but Zip knew about it before that. You know what I'm saying? So I took it kind of personal. Now, I wouldn't go about that the same way I went about it now. I don't know what I was saying. He knew about the dude Champagne. Look, this is the crazy thing, right? The brother's telling the story that Zip knew about a brother named Champagne. Champagne used to be a crip. The homie wasn't trying to lie to nobody that used to be crypt to become a blood. So he asked homie, and then he wound up running the dude out, but found out that Zip knew that this dude was a crypt. And that's Zip, and Zip lied. Zip lied. Fuck Zip guys. Zip lies. And guess what happened? He whooped Zip ass. Cut him up. After that, ship him out. Ship him right out the jail. Hang him up. <laughs> And guess what he'll do? He'll take this whole shit and remix it and fit it to his description. <laughs> when the brother's right here telling you all that shit about the police, what Zip said, lies. <laughs> The brother just said the police didn't see them fighting. 
If the police seen him fighting, they both would have been locked up. They see you got cuts on your face. They know you was fighting him because you told him he scratched like a bitch. And they locked y'all up. Homeboy just said, that's not what happened. The police didn't see nothing. The police took Zip back to his cell. They locked on the same gallery. He said, I went back to Zip's cell. You want some more? Zip don't want nothing. But all along behind his back, Zip is out there asking niggas for a weapon. He got the bug, yo, Zip out here asking for weapons, trying to get at you, bro, trying to sneak attack you. He sent the mat, Zip. Get him out of here. Mm -hmm. That's what happened. That's what happened. Zip is a coward. That's what he ain't a rat. He stand up, nigga. Yeah, Zip, do your thing. Yo, Zip, is that true? Because the world want to know. Because the fact that ten toes down keep going at your neck like this, you need to uh, respond to him. Like, to shut all this down. Hey, what thing? What thing is that? Pull your thing out and put it in that guy's mouth? Over here, sexually messing with these little kids out here. What do you, come on, man. The day that it happened, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come on here and that's the day I'm going to break this whole computer. Because I'm going to be like, I told y'all, I'm going to push this whole computer out. Hold, hold on, who's that? Tony Smith. Tony Smith? What you say? Let's put it up there. Tony Smith said that man didn't say nothing about he cut zip. Okay, let's play it. I was mad at Zip at the time about that. I, I had a scalpel and it was kind of tarnished. And I wanted to scratch him. And, and, you want to play it again? I had a scalpel and it was kind of tarnished. And I wanted to scratch him. And I had a scalpel and it was kind of tarnished. Meaning that I had a scalpel. It wasn't that sharp. Just you gotta stop playing with ten toes now. Why people keep playing with ten toes? He keeps bringing up the proof. And if anybody who's texting saying that's not true, he's showing y'all clearly. You know, so I just feel like people just choose to just want to believe what they want to believe. But yeah, man, so far, Ten Toes Down has been, has been showing up for proof. So we, we, we gotta, we gotta give him the credit when it's due. Like he literally is bringing proof just by using videos as references. Come on now. I had a scalpel, scalpel, you know, in a, in a room where he doing surgery, scalpel, boom, take a scalpel, just cut it, whoop, they cut a person right open. The scalpel he had was kind of tarnished. He said, I wound up scratching him. You know what scratching means? Scratching means cutting him. What you talking about, Tony Smith? You about to be off my goddamn radar in a second. I'm not going to lie, I don't, because that's not what I do. Me and him are shaking out. And he, he said, I'm not going to lie, that's not what I do. Me and him shook out. And he fought back. Look, look what Tento's now doing. Give him some back. A dual razor. Then you go down on DeMarco. A dual razor. The razor was dual. So he could get a cut. Cut. But he got scratches on him. It went, but it didn't get deep. When well, you can see the scars real good. But if you probably see Zip face to face real good, you probably see the little scratches, lines in his face. The work that only put in. But he couldn't get that good cut. But he sent the back at him. And what do you say, Tony Smith? You gotta know what that means, you dumbass. Get out of here, Tony Smith. You dumb. He said he scratched him. You know what that means? Of course I know what that means, you dumbass. Now you're banned from the channel. Get the fuck off my channel, you dumbass. Motherfuckers always trying to fix something up to make the person. The dude right here said, I had a scalpel. It was kind of tarnished. I scratched him. Who you think he was scratching his back? Oh, yeah, matter of fact, you know what? Yeah, he was scratching his back. He was scratching his back. He was scratching his back for you, Zip. Little dolphin, nigga. You probably itching over here. He was scratching little places you can't reach. Hey, get out of here, man. Oh, so I did it. So he didn't send him out to jail neither. He didn't do that. You know what I'm saying? He was getting tall, but he still fighting. He wasn't going for it. 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 He wasn't going the police wound up seeing, they see what was going on, but they seen he had scratches. Meaning they seen he had cuts on his face. Not deep enough to go get stitches, but he scratched him. I'm going to get a good cut. Move all around, let me get the fuck up out of there. But I did scratch him. Still talk. We got some stupid ass over here. The motherfucking zip ties. Got a thousand excuses for him. And he, that's why I said to y'all, man, I said... I could bring Quan up here and Quan to tell you him and Zip was getting head from that damn man. Quan will come up here and tell you him and Zip was getting head from that man. I'm going to let it be known anyway. That's what happened. That they was getting head from that man. I said, you going to come up there and tell him you what he said? Man, I come up there and tell him everything. Before I do, put my bitch up there and see if he answered you. Then he going to answer you. And what happened? He ain't answer me. But Quan come up here and say him and Zip was getting that thing. Like that. From that man. And don't leave to the same. I like it. <laughs> Any more dirt from me. And those dirty ass jeans, man, but forget out of here. So, so, another thing, right? So, that guy really believed that in June 2023, that Zip wasn't applying for the EBT and got denied. The same dude that's shooting down Scheme Team. Huh? He didn't go over there and apply with his mama. Huh? You going to apply with his mama? Yeah, I'm letting it be known you and your mama went over there. You go ahead. People think your mama, yeah, your mama gone. You and your mama went over there. I told me I put your mama whole name on the screen. You coward. You ain't gonna do nothing about it. I see you. I break your jaw, you little sissy. 
I'll beat the shit out of him. I'll be, I'll be holding back. I'll be saying certain shit. I will beat the shit out of him. I'll stomp him out. Is Ten Toes Down? Is Ten Toes Down the next big thing on YouTube? Let me know in the comment section down below, y'all. This is so crazy. I never thought Zip would be exposed like this. But you know what's so crazy? When I first started following, um, subscribed to Zip, and I, you know, was watching his content, because I, you know, I watch, I watch his content. And like, you really, you really think he's like that? And come to find out he's not? Hey, don't let the glasses fool you. The glasses is there for a reason. I'll be shit out of him. I'll kick his fucking forehead off. I know you're like, that's a big ass you're gonna get your toes big. I could kick. I kick the fucking ceiling. <laughs> y'all see me kicking, y'all be like, what the fuck? I used to be in the joint, shit be happening. I, don't, I got homies that tell you stories about ten toes now. I'll be like, tell because it's like I'm gonna fucking glow find it. We had a riot. I've been told the story before. The same way I told the story about the shit in the mouth and bullshit. We had a riot on Rikers Island. I'm, I'm cool. I'm just, I'm over. I'm chef. I'm cool. I'm cool with everybody. So I'm getting money. That riot broke out. Every man for himself. We fighting. Spanish and blacks. I didn't have no weapon. I didn't have nothing. All I had was these and my feet. I was kicking heads off. Yeah, yeah. Kicking heads off. From that day forward, I was going through the building as Bruce Lee boy. They said, what the fuck? You just start doing karate kicking niggas. I was kicking so many people, I missed my motherfucking kick the telephone. And broke my foot. Shit. You can got a hard lip. I was limping off hard as a fuck. What the fuck? This motherfucker jumped and I kicked the phone. But I got about 10 kicks and people, I was council kicking, back kicking dudes in the stomach before UFC. Ted Toes was on Rikers Island. After that, the story y'all heard with the Kung Fu Chinese dudes with the wall with the Ninja Turtles, I was Kung Fu kicking, no jokes, no, all that joke shit going. I was straight karate, punching, bringing my chi out. Mm. Hey, motherfucker. People was looking, it's gonna be a fight over there when they heard. Mm. They, oh shit, come on over there. Shaft is bucket. I went berserk. Head button, bucket. The last one I ran in there, ran out. It was a minute, we was out there bucket. When it was all over, we said, who won one on one? Nobody won one on one. I can get off. Yeah, you can say anything you want. When it's fighting time, ain't no rules. I'm gonna take the shit out of you. And I know where every land at is gonna hurt. If I kick you, from a left hand stance to the, from a side post stand, this guy would sit with the jerk. Been backing out of fights since he's been up north. What? How many times you want to back out of a fight, you punk? You a punk. I don't care how he fixed the story up. He backed out again. The brother said, I asked him if he wanted it again. He didn't want it. If he didn't cut him, scratch him enough, and it was a regular fight, what is he looking for a weapon from somebody else for? My homie had to send him out to jail. That's one. Homie sent him out to jail. Blue boy kept him in the jail. Back of the cell. Blue baby zipped on what that smoke. Y'all see the video with my man Kane that just came home. He said, I ran him out the mosque. I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna do the video with King. I'm gonna play that one for you, but I need Jody. I'm gonna gotta slowly feed Jody shit. He ran him out the mosque. Everything. They ran him in the PC. What else does it take? That's why I say no matter what they say, look, this nigga was sticking shit up like this up his ass. It started out like this. His asshole started like this. And it ended like this. Zip with the drip. Went to jail. With his asshole like this. And he was putting things like this in it. And this is the same color came out. Bloody and red. Hold on. Hassan Campbell actually said the same thing with Zip a couple of times, just like this. About he was using his uh prison wallet. That's what it's called. When you put stuff up in the the, the area, the back area downstairs, it's called a uh, a prison wallet. Okay? And Hassan Campbell then exposed this. A while back, which I will bring up here. You went out your way to meet me. I didn't go out my way to meet me. you. You went out your way to meet me after 18 years of sticking a muggle up your ass. Now I'm just trying to figure out. And I ain't no pause. Fuck all the bullshit. Me ain't pause. You can't pause the truth. But blue, but blue. Oh no, that's not even all of it. What? 
did you become Muslim in jail? Huh? Why did you become Muslim in jail? Mr. Zip with the dripper, drip with the zip. Mr. Zipper, zipper, zip. You were fascinated with the zipper. Zip, zipper. Who got the keys? Zip, zip, zipper. You like the zipper. The zipper leads to the asshole. The asshole leads to the mother load. And the mother load is what you was carrying through jail. The mother load. You were supplying niggas with drugs that you hid in your ass. So after 18 years of you hiding drugs in your ass, for 18 years, you had balloons of weed that you were sticking in your ass in jail. And now you want to come home. And you don't want to fuck the grown woman. You think the grown woman is supposed to let you fuck their daughters. You got grown nah, women out there saying, you want the teeny boppers. Nigga, I stamped you. You are who the fuck I stamped you to be. You a predator. So the fact that ten toes, more than one person is saying this, it's it's like, it's it's crazy to me. You got some nerve to talk about. You and nigga ten toes, so he put shit in his mouth and spit it on niggas. What's the? We are at war. I was at war. I'm gonna fuck with this nigga. I can really do no win. Now you want other hand. You had a choice to make, and that I didn't have no choice. It was war. I don't care. Look how nasty and disgusting it is. It ain't as disgusting as you laying with that man. You had a choice. You didn't have to let that man. And you had to go through a whole bunch of motions in order to get your joint in that man's mouth. First of all, you got to get erect. How would you even get erect? What thought process could you have going through your mind? I'm going to answer that. I'm going to answer that. Remember, ten toes down. I'm speaking to you respectfully. You got to remember, how much years did Zip? did his time like how much years he he did his time he did about what like 10 to 18 years let me know in the comment section down below and correct me if i'm wrong but he's been in jail for so long that he probably never even had a girlfriend which happens to you know which happens to people it happens so the fact that like he said he was 21 when he got locked up he didn't have no relationship with females probably the whole time when he was in there so when you when you with the same the same gender all the time anything can happen he was in there for a long time so he had to find things to do of course I'm, I'm just keeping it a buck like i've seen a lot of movies i've seen real life people tell me stories about stuff like this you know and it's actually facts like there's people who have life in there that would never get to see sunlight that would never get to see their family. They would never know what it's like to be to be loved by a woman, to be consoled when a woman rubs your back, when a woman makes your food and brings your plate, when she's rubbing your head when you're stressed out, when she has your children and she's taking care of the household while you go out there and make that money. There's people out there who's locked up for life and will never get to experience none of that. Understand, Zip with the Drip don't have children. But he said he will he 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 wants to have children. So I I believe in my opinion that he was just going with the flow because he was doing time. That's all that was. And you don't know, he probably wanted to leave it behind him. He probably never wanted to talk about it. Who knows? But there's always a reason for things that happen. So, there's your answer. To get a right to say, I'm going to put my so erect penis in that mouth behind all those teeth. That gum, all that food of garbage you just ate this morning in the mess hall, all the burps and vomit and everything behind that man and that beard and mustache. It's a whole lot of things you had to go through in order to do that. So, once it. Exactly. And, and not only that. Everybody's human. Everybody has their need. Like everybody has needs, man. Zip probably Paul's probably needed his needs met. You know? Hey, this is what it is, man. And this is real life. Everybody goes through this. Like not everybody, but you know, especially people be that be in the street and they get locked up and they do certain certain crimes and then now they locked up for life and th that's that's what you're gonna have to go through. Some men do it and some men don't. That hard, that meant that you blocked all of that out and looked in there and said, guess what? That was just clear. I can put it in his mouth. 
You got you all type of bacteria and saliva and all kind of shit was going on your penis. Your filthy animal. All of that was going on, right? Then it came to a point that you ejaculated. You wished ecstasy. Ecstasy. Is it ecstasy? Ecstasy. You ejaculated in that man's mouth. Now, y'all know us as men. When we bust off, we say some shit. Thank you so much. Oh, you're so good, baby. Oh, mommy. What would you call me? Baby, mommy, babe, hun, sweetheart, sugarfoot. What name you gave this man when you was in that motion? You love that man. You know why? Because you don't know what it is to love or to be loved. Because your mama gave you up and gave it to your grandmama. Your grandmama gave you up to the state and sent you up to Spring Valley. Spring Valley gave you up and sent your dumb ass to Juvenile. Juvenile gave you up and gave you to the state. The state gave up and gave you to that boy. And that boy handled you. Oh, no. I'm done. I'm not playing with you no more, man. You're nothing. You're easy. You're a peasant to me. I don't even want to put my hands on you to get bloody because I don't know what you got. If you got the house in Virginia, what you got? You might got hepatitis C, A, B, D, ointment. You probably got VD. I don't know what you got. It's so much shit. But you might be putting shit. It's my shit. I'm good. Now, if you want a other hand, your, your appointment is death. Your appointment is death because we don't know what you got. You're coughing, you're skinny, your bones, you're brittle. You, you finish. Nothing grows right on you. You look ashy. Your bags under your eyes. You look like you been, Every time I look at this thing, I said, he must have just came from shopping. I know he was just shopping. Where did you go? To me, where I went shopping, you must have because you got all them fucking bags under there. Why you always got all them bags for? Spot him with shopping. Get out of here. You can't mess with me. Hep C? Hep Z? You don't got dudes running you out of jails and beating you up and you're backing down. And you come out here on these streets and lie to these people about your prison stint. <laughs> the difference between me and you is this, right? It's a very big difference, a fine line. You cannot put you on the same level as me. Put me on a level with the homeless people before you put me on a level with him. Because I only want to be on this level because he does nothing but disrespect and hurt and tarnish our people. In the Islamic religion and faith. He just sat here on camera. John, Johnny 845, salute to your family. Salute 10. Triple law. He just sat here the other day on live TV. Sit with the drip. Let's get to rats and pray to a law. Who, who, who uses a good prayer? He prayed to a law. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. To all my Muslim brothers out there, he prayed to a law and asked a law to open up the rats, the snitch, the CIs, confidential informants, to open up their hearts and their minds to tell on more people. Now, if that's not enough for you, I don't know what it is. You can take it and laugh and joke about it and all that. There's no joking in that. That's like saying, Allah, please allow this man to continue to molest this child. Come on, B. We're not going to play that game. This is people's lives we're talking about. Ratting and snitching. I already told you, man. That's treason. America, nobody would even adopt that. That should go back to the beginning of time in history. When God asked, when Cain saw Abel, God came. It's Cain. And he asked him, where's your brother at? My, my, my brother's keeper. My, my, my brother's keeper. Guess what? And I'm not telling. That was at the beginning of making a man. I'm not telling. God has Cain. <laughs> So that's from the beginning of the time. And man wasn't trying to tell. If a man not trying to tell God the truth or give up information, what do you think supposed to happen here? We're supposed to abide by that law. Everything is not meant to be said and told. This guy sits here on this TV channel, YouTube world, right, and tells you what he going to do. That's what you're doing with that city job, nigga. Owning them computers. Other people personal information and all that. You don't get your ass fired for that. If you use it, that shitty job, ten toes down, everybody know who you is, ain't gonna be able to hide in there, everybody know who you is. All they gotta do is put that video up your... Now listen, when we are at war, we use what we can within our due diligence and our research to dig up what we can. And all the dirt. There's no room to it. On a person. Uh -huh. To show that, you know what, this motherfucker ain't who he say he is. So what I do, I go and get, do my due diligence and my research on you. And you call foul. Because you can't find nothing on me. So you say, you know what? I'm going to get you fired from your job because I think that's where you get your information from. But guess what, Zippy? Zipper? <laughs> I shine call me, call him Zipper. Guess what, Zipper? It come from my job? I'm not, I didn't even see the computer in my job. I don't even know what you're talking about. I've never seen the computer. But I want you to get me fired. Please do it. <laughs> Zipper man comes up on the channel and says, I'm going to get you fired from your job because you found out stuff about me that I didn't want nobody to know about. He's a rat. Tell okay, local, do payment. Give me the fast ways, do solve local. <laughs> and he say, let's get that. And you would hear through the little speaker in the back of his head, bubble head in your car, and then it just smell like shit. You be like, what the fuck? Like, that's to wake you up in the morning. Like, yo, okay. what woke you up this morning? Oh, uh, bobblehead shit, shit, bobblehead, <laughs> the bobblehead shit head. <laughs> they need to make a shit 
bottle head tip. <laughs> that wake you up in the morning when you drive in your car. Fuck coffee. I don't need coffee. I don't need nothing. I don't need none of that. I just drive my car and I'll be nodding about to go to sleep and the bobblehead will just go off. Let's get that. I'm like, oh shit, smell like shit here, like a damn woman. Motherfucker live all the way in New York City, you smelling this. How the fuck I smell this shit? That's the zip bobblehead. They should this make a whole fact. bobblehead one thousand percent fact. Darren Bossett just applied to wealthier in 2023. That's a fact. Give me this moment. That's a fact. Him and this boy was getting their shaboing boings, shaboing boings, shaboing boings. It was getting their shaboing boing on up north. That's a fact. And what is going on in this picture right here? You can't tell me you are not somebody's baby mother. No. He about the size of it. The... I didn't know. I, yo, that's crazy. Don't laugh at me when I say this, y'all, right? But I didn't know Zip was that short. He's short. Like, the way he be talking on the internet, I thought he was tall. Nah, he's short. He's short. Two canister that he holding in his hand. With the same dirty in those jeans. Like filthy same old jeans. I can't. In those jeans. Nah. Is he ever going to change his jeans? The guy snitched right here on the damn table. Shit, that's what you doing with that city job, nigga? Going in them computers. Give other people personal information and all of that. We gonna get your ass fired for that. If you use it, that city job, ten toes down, everybody know who you is. They ain't gonna be able to hide in there. Everybody know who you is. All they gotta do is put that video, the videos of you. You using that city job to find out... He said my name and everything. <laughs> Told him the video and everything, what to do, how to do it. This man just sat the other day and prayed to Almighty Allah. Wallahi. Well, I was my witness. That's what he just did. So people are continue snitching, locking people up, and hurting families. But he's not a rat. And he's doing it with never rat it on his hat and on his shirt. Guess what shirt I just made? You know what shirt I just made? A nice, sick sweatshirt. And I'm selling it for $40. The name of the shirt, I'm not even going to show it to you because I'm going to put it on my, my, my uh, sales shit. I ate the cheese. I got a picture of Zip with the drip and a piece of cheese. And for a bonus on the back, I got Brian Blaze Gibbs. I ate the cheese. That's my new rap clothing line. I ate the cheese. I got one with Zip with the drip face inside of a mousetrap. Y'all ate the cheese. The fact of the matter is this, right? Let me let me let me go over it one more time. Let me go over it one more time before we have a very good understanding of what happened tonight and what's going on. And we are not gonna forget that this is how Zip with the Drift asshole started out. And this is how it ended. Putting shit like this in his ass. Just to get high. 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 Listen, man. We're gonna reiterate what happened tonight. Now we're gonna go over it again. So what happened tonight is this. Zip with the drip, as he did in the past, said that uh Hold on. He got this. He's trying to cut me. When the police we used to walk around saying he was coming up. After you see me in the front, so you got that scratch on your face. I thought the niggas chopped me up. So if I say a gang member scratch me while I'm a gang member with his long nails, I ain't snitching either. I ain't tell the police nothing. I told Waterboy. I don't know that. I don't know the officer name. You got mad scratches on your face. So I thought I said, I got long nails. He's a bitch. So you got long nails like a bitch. So I showed him his nails. It was like, Yo, come on. It never happened like that. This is how it happened. My name is Kamala. A lot of stuff. Uh, recently, we we we've been looking on about the uh, what was the guy's name? Zip, Zip, Zip with the drip stuff and stuff like that. I was saying, me and Zip, me and Zip went through a, through a situation at Elmira Road. At the time, there was an individual over there with us named Champagne. Just button on him. He wanted to go to IBC, but Zip knew about it before that. You know what I'm saying? So I took it kind of personal. Now I wouldn't go about that same way I went about it now. I don't know, but I understand. He knew about the dude Champagne being crip. I was mad at Zip at the time about that, and I, I had a scout who it was kind of tarnished, and I wanted to scratch him, and, 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 and I'm not going to lie, I don't, because don't, that's not what I do, me and him wanted to shake it out, and he fought and all that, you know what I'm saying, he thought he was getting tall, but he still fight, he, he, wasn't, he wasn't going for it, <laughs> <laughs> he, wasn't, he, he didn't jack that shit at all, <laughs> the police, police wound up, see, they didn't see what was going on, but they seen that scratch, they sent it back to his, to his, to his cell, and, he, and I seen a clip on it when, when he said, oh, the police seen this, man, it didn't happen like that, I never got a ticket for that incident, and we still lock it over there, but I found out, and, and, and me and him talked after the fact, and I, I, I wanted to fight him again, because I said, if he, he felt some type of way, we could fight him with him, but he didn't, he didn't want to do it, he didn't want to, he said it was nothing, but at the same time, I heard he was looking for a weapon, you know what I'm saying, so I wanted, I wanted to get into some power on him, he, he wanted to leave him in jail after that. Oh, so you seen him after that? You seen him? Yeah, I seen Zip after that, because me and he used to lock with the same gallery, and we walked through the vessel, so me and... He said, yeah, I seen Zip after that. <laughs> he called this motherfucker Zip. Teeth come out at night. Teeth come out at night. Teeth come out at night. Teeth come out. 
can come out at night. Yo. No, the nigga can come out at night. He like bed every jack, no two face night. Yo, he's crazy. Hey, come on. Let me tell you something. This little motherfucker here, man, is the lionest little motherfucker. And the dude did that to him, did that to him for lying. Damn. He tried to chop his head off for lying because Zip was gangbanging. And the dude that used to be Crip was trying to be blood. And Zip knew about it and lied and like he didn't know when he was in another jail with the dude knowing he was a crip. But the dude already sent the dude out to jail. Sheesh. Where that zip? Zip back down. Zip don't want that smoke. <laughs> zip says Zip don't want that smoke. Baby Zip don't want that smoke. He ain't want no smoke. He ain't want no chill. Don't he smoke? He wanted that little jerk he be smoking in his house. He's smoking dirt. That's what he doing. Zip is the type of motherfucker that wake up in the morning don't put no toothpaste on the toothbrush. He just start brushing. Fuck it. Doesn't matter. That nigga got dirt on the toothbrush. That nigga toothbrush the long. They bring a whole garbage truck just to get his toothbrush out the house. That's a filthy little motherfucker. You can look at him. You can tell. I know. I don't care what nobody say. Even the people that still support him and don't care about what's happening. I can show him a video of him with the bag. Show him in the video stitching on the stand. He could be sitting there next to Sammy the Bull, telling on John Gotti. John Gotti dead. They still be like, nah, he ain't even put his right hand up. So he wasn't under oath. <laughs> he wasn't under oath. So Zip ain't never officially tell. You know what I'm saying? Of course, he never. He never. He never put his hand on a stack of bottles. He wasn't under oath. Yeah. Under yeah. oath. If yeah. he was yeah. under oath, yeah. then I would have been different. The other is. We ain't never read it. Hey, that's what you doing with that city job, nigga? Owning them computers. Getting other people personal information and all that. We gonna get your ass fired for that. If you use it, that city job, ten toes down, everybody know who you is. They ain't gonna be able to hide it now. Everybody know who you is. All they gotta do is put that video. <laughs> This dude just be ratting and all that. And he's wearing a never ratted shirt. Wait till I come out with my IHGs. <laughs> Wait till I show the IHG shirts. <sighs> and, and, and the record label, uh, Mousetrap Records. No. So I can watch Mousetrap Records. I want to sign him. I want him to be the first one to Mousetrap Records, man. Because everybody, you know, snitch ain't nothing about anything. It don't matter. So, so, but we can tell, send a thousand people to jail for a million years. He be out here. He start getting some money. Dudes is cool. Man, okay, yo, you don't want to know what I'm saying. These lames. Everything I do and say is authentic. It's authentic. Yo, oh, before I go, look, look what he said. Look what he said right here again. Look. Two tough guys in the street, huh? Went to jail, y'all niggas was pussy. That's what y'all niggas was. Pussy niggas. That's why Tinto's damn always on the end. Yo, we was all pussy. No, we wasn't, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. You was pussy, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. Oh, we was all <laughs> The facts is right there. Pussy. Man to man. It's pussy. I said, we was all pussies and punks. And prison, because we let that white man. Do everything with everything and anything they wanted to do to us. And we said nothing. Turn around. Bend over. Show me your feet. Strip. And this dumb, dirty, change clothes ass nigga talking about they had guns. Where? What prison they had guns at? You just was too cowardly man enough to stand up. Man, get the hell out of here. But make sure you come out. I'm gonna do the Batman story. You know, I'm gonna add this to it right here. That's my little man, Batman. And that's Steve Franklin. And he tried to get my little man to come out to talk dirty about me. But it was one thing that happened within that interview that I'm not comfortable with is that C. Franklin said, I'm going to give him a Batman pass. He said he's going to give me a pass. Like, I'm not going to do nothing to him because of my little man, Batman. What? I don't, we don't give our passes around here. This ain't no school hallway. Who are you giving a pass? I don't want no pass. Don't give me a pass. Whatever you're going to do to me, do to me.